Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to create a simple platform game and I'm going to do some animation as well. So to start off I'm going to create a new project. File and new, just create a new empty project and there's my blank canvas so I'm going to create a character. So I right click, insert new object. You want to use sprite because it looks like a, a gaming character so choose this one and click insert. Now very simple just use this box and draw something. So just very quickly I'm going to uh, draw I'm actually going to draw a square and I'm going to draw a line and you'll see why in a moment. So that is my character and you can see the animation frames are right here. You'll see in a moment what I'm going to do. Right, so there's my character. So now if I double click. I am going to um, set the behavior for this character. So I click behaviors. I'm going to make this platform. Because this is going to be a platform game similar to a Mario game. And also I need to create the actual platform as well so I'm going to use a sprite I'm going to have a black colored platform so just draw that and uh, I can use collision polygon so I don't have all this white space here or I can use the uh, crop tool and there's my platform don't forget you need to set the behavior to solid right and then that has to be platform Right, if not sure, just give it a test. So just run the program and see what happens. Right. Now the reason why it's like that is because uh, if I double click on the character, um, well, because I've got this uh, blue line here and it's not touching this, but it doesn't need to because um, I'm going to do something in a sec for the animation. So this is how to do the animation. So what you do Right, you duplicate the frame a number of times. So we've got five frames. Now for each one you're going to have uh, different arm movements. So different arm positions or different leg positions each time. So I'll give you an example. So we put one arm here, one arm here, and one arm here, one arm here, and... Sorry, just make sure you don't move it too much. If you put, if you get the, if you mess up the order, just uh, put them in the right order. And there we go. So we do the uh, next arm. So just put one here, one here, and just keep adding the arms as shown. Doesn't have to look perfect. Just as long as you've got some pictures that are moving around, it doesn't matter too much about the accuracy. Just uh, bear with me for a moment. So now we're doing the legs. So. I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible. So, okay, so let's do the next leg. There we go. Okay. It's not perfect, but it's better than nothing. Um, I think also I want to have a nose. So we know exactly which direction he's uh, facing, and he's actually facing right because the nose is facing the right direction. There we go. Uh, and because this animation is walking right, we want to rename this animation to walk right. So we do that. And now what we want to do is we want to create another animation for walk left. So walk right, this is okay. Now for walk left, the thing to do is you want to mirror every single one of these fra uh, animation frames. So you just click each one. And the reason why we do that is because we don't want to have to keep drawing everything again. If we just flip it, we'll save, our si uh, we'll save ourselves a lot of time. So we've got walk right and walk left like this. Once that is done, you close. So there's our character. And you might want to make sure about the collision polygon. But uh, just for the sake of the video, I'm not going to bother with that yet. 
So now what I'm going to do, I might make him a little bit smaller. I'm going to use the event sheet to program the animation. So watch this. Before I go to the event sheet, I'm going to run the program. All right, you'll notice that he sort of moves, but then when I move left and right, he, his body actually doesn't move. His legs and his arms and so forth do not actually move because we need to program into the event sheet. Right, so under the event sheet, we click on this, we add the event. Ah, we need to add a keyboard object because we need to program something on the keyboard. So we go to the event sheet one, we add event. We want to say, okay, what's going to happen when we press the right button on the keyboard, the right arrow? So we press keyboard. When key is down, so which key are we talking about? Well, you just press the right arrow, you click done. So when the keyboard right arrow is down, we want this character to play the animation. And in the quote marks, you type in the name of the animation that you want to play. So in this case, it's walk right, and you click done. And similarly, for the left arrow, you do exactly the same thing, except that you make it walk left. Well, um, I'd like to play this just to see how it looks. So right now, if I right click, see, he's actually playing the animation for walk right. At the moment, the walk left doesn't work. So that's the next thing I need to do. So I add the event. Right, keyboard, key is down. So I'm doing exactly the same thing I did with the right arrow, except it's the left arrow now. So I say when the left arrow is down on the keyboard, I want this character to play the animation for walk left. And you must make sure the spelling is correct, otherwise it's not going to work. So now you click done. And with any luck, that should work. And there we go. Walk left, walk right, and you can also jump as well. Right, there we go. So that is how you do the animation for walk left and walk right. And that is animation in Construct 2. So thank you for watching.